is uh, joining us. I'm sure you've been there plenty of times. Right. Actually, went last year. It's a fun thing to do in the and winter. And I hear time. you went. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of nice uh, last year. Obviously, February was a lot more winter-like, and it was nice to kind of be around the humidity for a it's little while. It's beautiful. I hope you all go out to the Orchid Show. It's really a good place to go. Yeah. Um, speaking of breath of spring, however, just take a whiff of this one. Yeah. Is that wonderful? Yeah, that is very nice. That is really good. That is a hyacinth that's been forced. And you put it in its little vase. This is a hyacinth vase that you can get at uh, many, many uh, garden shops. So you never know where you'll find a hyacinth vase. But it holds the hyacinth right in there. And look at the magnificent roots on that thing. It's quite amazing. So uh, enjoy. You'll be seeing those soon at flower shows. So we can have some questions today. What's up with you gardeners? Well, we do have a first call this morning. That is Michelle. Good morning, Michelle. And what is your question? I have little gray bugs, little gnats flying all over my house, and they're also in my plants. And I want to know how can I get rid of them? Okay, you've probably developed fungus gnats in your house plants, and at this time of year, it's normal that we start to get something because our house plants are stressed and many little things develop. For you, if it's probably gray bugs, it's either aphids, but I'm guessing fungus gnats, I would say take your plants to the sink, give them a good wash, or maybe run some soapy water, mild soapy water through the soil once, and then let the plants dry out between watering. Make sure there's no gunk around the base of the plant or under the dishes. So get the gunk away, give them a little wash, and then dry out a little bit between watering. Too wet is how they develop those insects. All right, our next caller this morning comes from Cheektowaga and Ellen. Good morning, Ellen. What's your question? Good morning. Uh, I have a question about sterilizing my home compost. Uh, what would you recommend to get a large volume of compost sterilized so I could start my seeds inside? Well, okay, for seed starting, sterilized is good. Most of us say get non-real potting, get, get the artificial potting mix that's intended for seed starting, for seed starting, because you do want sterile, whereas in the outside world, you'd never sterilize compost because you want the life forms in it. So if you're going to do it with home compost, I guess you can sterilize in the oven or in the microwave, little bits on a cookie sheet. But for most of us, potting mix is how you start seeds. It doesn't have the life forms. And the life forms are what you want in the outside gardening. So a good question, good, good effort. I'm glad you're starting seeds. I have no idea you could do that. All right, our next question is uh, Joe in Clarence. Good morning, Joe. What's your question? Good morning. Uh, I'm calling about uh, tiny, tiny little bugs that fly around. It's an entire office of indoor plants, and I'm wondering if it was the potting mix or what I could do to get rid of them. Okay, maybe similar to what the first lady had. It could be the fungus gnats from things getting too wet. But hey, in an office situation, it's rarely too damp, and plants tend to dry out. I would say I've had luck with indoor plants with a product called Indoor Farm, P-H-A-R-M as in pharmacy but there are indoor plant sprays that you can get. Almost everything can be handled by these products. They are healthy, they're not unhealthy, they're usually oil-based and have herbs in them, and you can do it with home management. But I would say, look around, inspect, see if any of them have particular tiny insects on the leaves. If they're on the tips of the plant, that could be aphids if they're on the new growth. Those you can wash off with a hard hose under the sink. So put them under the faucet if you can, wash off anything you see, and then use an indoor plant uh, herbal pesticide. Sally, good info as always. Thank oh, you very much for joining us. In fact, us. I'm going to talk about houseplants next sure. week. All right. Thanks, Sally. All right. Coming up next on Weekend Wake Up, despite the